So welcome everybody. This is Jamie from Several Palsy Sunrise and I am excited today to announce a collaboration with Whitney Bailey and Spastic Chatter. Hi Whitney. Hey. So I reached out to Whitney uh, just a few days back at the beginning of the week. We had the opportunity to read the new book of Amanda Fino. Say hi Amanda. Thank you for having me today. You are so welcome, and we're so glad to have you today. Oh, you... thank <laughs> you. I feel like <laughs> Well, you wrote an amazing new book called CP Gal, and Whitney and I both had an opportunity to read the book, so we thought we would um, share with the group our questions and your answers and for everybody, okay and for everybody out there watching just so you know we gave amanda these questions ahead of time and she's given us permission to go ahead and read her responses for her so we're going to do that and uh i guess i'll i'll share the questions and, and we'll get started so okay. okay very first thing is uh we have a, a wonderful quote from Amanda, and it says, writing comes within my soul while the words flow out of me. That's very nice. And Excellent. And this is kind of sort of a, a quote that really tells a lot about your story and your book. So for those that don't know, um, you can actually purchase Amanda's book and we'll have a link to where you can find it um, when we post the video. And um, also, um, besides the link to Amanda's book, we'll have the link to her Patreon. And she's actually written more than work but this yeah. is the book that tells her story yeah. as an adult with CP. So I'm gonna stop sharing for just a second so I can let Whitney back in the room. There she is. She's getting joined back in. We love technology, sometimes mm. it does things without us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it sure does. All right, so we'll make sure she gets a chance to get back in. Hey, Miss Whitney, welcome back. We were just saying we love technology. Sometimes it does stuff without us. Yeah. <laughs> yep, we can hear you. Welcome Hi. back. I don't know what happened, but it cut off. It cut off. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we were just talking a little bit about Amanda's uh, tell-all book, and Whitney, was there anything you'd like to tell our joint audiences about the book before we get started with the questions? Um, but when I was reading the book, I I just I just I just knew that there, that it, um, this would be a good uh, book to review for Spastic Chatter or talk about because it's all about being unfiltered. And that's kind of the premise of Spastic Chatter. And um, I just thank Amanda for writing it because it is so it, it is so unfiltered and people need to see that side of disability because not every, like because that's not seen in the disability or talked about in the disability community. Right. So yeah, so I I, I I agree with you 100%, Whitney. Um, and as soon as I read it, I got about 20 pages in, and I thought, oh, this needs to be a collaboration with Spastic Chatter because it's totally unfiltered. So good job, Amanda, on, on taking that filter off. Um, oh my God! This is I yeah. I know that we be and no for your TV. I I want to go because we all you be guys. Yeah, it 
definitely needs to be done. You're right. And especially for people with CP, we don't have enough honest stories about what it's really like because a lot of the stories stop once people turn 18, right? They spend- Yeah, or them more. Oh, they write about how they buy God, but I want to go everything go beyond but really well. Yep. I can put all that. For sure. And you, you do include everything. There's nothing you leave out. You start all the way from your childhood uh, until now. And yeah. for, for those who are going to read the book without giving away too many secrets of the book, it yeah. talks about everything from home life to relationships, sexuality, um, different things that happen uh, with housing and resources. So there's really not a page left unturned for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the very first question. And this was one of my questions. And my question to Amanda was, when you decided to tell your story, did you have any fears? And the reason I asked this of Amanda is because her book is so raw and it does share experiences with family members for sure. And Amanda's response was, yep. My mom was a big fear because I was worried that she and Hannah will go after me. I did have a repressed memory that came back to me that I wish I had told my birth father right then. Longtime people had to beg me to write the book. I really started it back in 2017, but life just happens. And I know Whitney and I have talked about this. Both of us have thought about different projects and life happens and you have to put it on hold. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get that for sure. Yeah. And your second part of the answer was writing several palsy gal was very therapeutic, expressing myself to be very truthful. I realized that telling my inner emotions had helped me heal some of the pain I had hidden away since childhood. It was tough to write, revealing my worst memories and such. I'm proud that I wrote down, even when I was no angel, telling my hugest mistakes. And I think that's one of the yeah. things that's um, the most compelling about the book is that, you know, you, you say you made some mistakes too. So it's not yeah. all. Wow. Yeah. So I have written CP Gal in hopes of helping others with several palsy. Some will love CP Gal, calling me a hero or inspirational. I didn't write this to build my ego up. Ego up? Nope. I want to see how to help all kinds of people from all walks of life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and I think it will. Um, I think it's not just for people with CP, but obviously those might be the people who read it first. Yeah. I... <laughs> so my second question was, what goals do you have for yourself moving forward or in the future? And you said, in my lifetime, I hope to make a better world for people with all kinds of disabilities. I would love to see if I could make CP Gout into a nonprofit organization down the road. For now, I am on a subcommittee to try and find a better way to have COVID-19 testing for people with all disabilities in my state of Virginia. So for those of you who don't know, um, Amanda, lives in Virginia and she's part of, of several advocate groups and boards there and she's working to, to do her best um, to help all the people with disabilities including several palsy in the state of Virginia and we're proud of her for that and my Thank you. you're welcome my last question to Amanda was what would you like people to know about you that they may not already know and you said, I left off saying that we that I've got a partners in policy making. I'm happy. I to got it. Yeah, you. I got 
into partners in policy making. So it's a yeah. program that she got into. And I'm happy to say that with all the hard work, I just earned my certificate of completion April 2020. So congratulations to that. Yay. Yeah. You're welcome. So she will be uh, sitting uh, in the Senate gallery, which is a pretty big deal, and lobbying. I did. Yeah, I guess. She did it already, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Other with other people that did it, and it's obviously the uh, capital is Richmond, so she'll yeah. be lobbying in the heart of Richmond, um, and that it's an awesome and amazing experience for her so uh, really well. yeah so as you can tell everybody um amanda's life has taken lots of twists and turns just like most of us uh with a with a physical disability our our life takes lots of twists and turns um but she's done a, a great job of surviving some of the hardships and and getting on a really great track so congrats yeah. on Amanda, and now I'm going to turn it over to Whitney's questions. My first question I had for Amanda was, what's one takeaway you want readers to have after reading your book? And with Amanda's and permission. Do you want to read, read your response? <laughs> and it says um, that there's so much more to any CP person than CP. So what I have a disability and yes, I live my life like any, like any other person. And yeah. yeah, Whitney, I know you and I have discussed that, right? That obviously, yes. um, CP is a big part of our day. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, Hi Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. I'll go away for longer. Very she cool. My friend there. She is. That's very cool. I think a lot of us uh, have family members and siblings that are great best friends for sure. So. Yeah. But my dad is my world of my life. Yeah. He's amazing. Your dad's amazing too. That's pretty cool. So Whitney, um, when you were uh, reading the book and you thought about this question, um, what inspired you to ask this question? Because Amanda was being so honest with her story that I, I uh, that that immediately came to mind because when I when I know as a writer myself, I always have like an underlying a premise or theme that I want the that I want the reader to like get when they're reading the book when they're reading my stuff. So I thought that was a great question for Amanda because she was so honest about her life. I wanted to know what she, what she wanted the readers to feel or take away after reading her book. Very true and. I have to say, Amanda, you were so honest that I don't know if I'm brave enough to be that honest. But, but yeah, you are. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm not brave either. So kudos to you for putting it all out there. Oh, oh God, every God, I'm boys. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So, Whitney, your next question was? What's one piece of advice you would, you would have given yourself growing up? So Amanda's response, for those of you who haven't read the book yet, um, there's some, some pretty poignant and honestly a little bit disturbing things that happened in her home life with her, bio yeah. um, yeah. with her biological family. And um, her response, yeah, will never ever do that. 
Yeah. And so uh, when you read the book, you'll read about some of those um, events with her biological family. But her response was she would beg herself to go and tell her birth father everything that her mom had done or was doing at that time. And that she does regret not telling her dad about the bathtub attempt um, on her life when she was nine years old. And for those of you who haven't read the book yet, um, Amanda has two families in the book, a biological family, and then another family that she finds um, later in life. Yeah. And this, this is incident refers to her biological family. Um, Whitney, when you were reading uh, Amanda's story, um, was there was there any particular event or anything she talked about that stood out to you the most based on either your experiences or just what you were thinking about when you were reading the book? Um, I, oh, the reason I, the reason I wanted to ask this question is, I think we can, me and each of you have talked about this before. We, as kids, we really don't know, we really don't know, like, like, uh, what's, we haven't really found ourselves. So when you go, when you grow, when you grow up, you kind of, it's kind, of, your life is kind of put into perspective, and like a, a different perspective, and you, you kind of realize things as you grow older that you that you didn't realize when you were younger and you were going through it. Yeah. So that that's one of the that's one of the reasons why I asked Amanda this question is because I felt like she could have a I have a new sense of perspective going, looking back at their life from uh, as an adult to a child, if that For makes sure. sense. No, it makes total sense. And I know for myself, turning 40 on Monday, that if- Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy if the 40-year-old Jamie could talk to the nine-year-old or the 16-year-old Jamie, I'd have a lot to say that I didn't know when I was nine or 16, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. For, sure. for sure, for sure. So, Whitney, your last question was? In your own words, how important is advocating for yourself? And Amanda's response was, it's my true passion and calling for me to stand up and try my very best to teach people about CP and other disabilities. I hope that no other kid with disabilities can be locked up and felt lonely, like when I was a teen. I just hate to think that now in this day and age with COVID-19, there might be more kids with a disability going through the motions like me. Um, and I know when we do the lives on um, CP Sunrise every week, part of the reason we do them weekly is especially with COVID, people are feeling really isolated because a lot of their activities are, are canceled or no longer available. Um, so I, I totally get that. And Whitney, when you were asking this question, what inspired you? Um, well, I actually, it's kind of, kind of like what you said, like, I, I started this, I started Spastic Chatter because of, because of quarantine and because of COVID-19. And, and that's one of the, one of the themes I've gotten from the people that I interviewed is that um, they're, they're advocate, they're learning how to advocate for their needs because of the, the, situ the situation in the world for sure. And, um, yeah, and they're going through the motions because they've been neglected of of types of services and things like that. So I, I just think it's cool to, to, uh, to see other people's perspectives on how to advocate for yourself because no. we're all different. We are. We are all different. And that's right. Amen you that. we are the day. Everyone equal. Everyone, I, yep. that's true. Yeah, we're we're all we're all equal for sure. And just to show the diversity, even in our own disabilities, we all three 
have different areas where we're strong and different areas where we struggle and we all yeah. three have the same thing. So yeah. there you go. And it affects our bodies differently. So yeah. Yeah. So you but me more I have a lot of them now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and I have, you know, issues with with balance and all sorts of things. Whitney, you've shared with us that you have the pump, right? Yes, I have a back I have a back from pump. So it I kind of I went from I went from a from a one severe, I went from one severity of C P to an to a complete to a complete opposite uh, situation. So like, I can see, I can see uh, both like perspectives. Both sides of it, yeah. And yeah, I think, both sides of it. And I think one thing that we all three of us, CP gals all together has felt yeah. at some point in time is isolation, right? It's very, oh, yeah. Yeah. very isolating even when you're trying to participate in the normal world. Um, no, I did it on you more. You bet me. I don't know what to do. Oh. Yeah. And I, I know, Whitney, in spastic chatter, you have um, basically a uh, guest from all areas of life, right? Male, yes. female, um, gay, straight, um, all, mm. all ethnicities, um, because we need to show like the entire scope of several palsy, not just yes, the, the, oh. the diversity, the diversity of several palsy, because it is, because I don't know, I don't know about, about y'all, but it, I feel like it is one disability that there is a, there is a like a huge spectrum of of like differences and severities and all that stuff. So yeah, I don't know if I've I've seen a a disability other than ours that has as big a span of how it affects people. As, I know, right? It go real. They never go with it. I, I, baby, um, I know it's really, really bad when you bring up that. Go, so I feel that I'm a oh, but I didn't know it. Right. I am go bubbly and I am baby. I'm the more happy. Yeah, maybe maybe you would have been more happy. I know just in the time that I've started CP Sunrise, my mind has been blown um at all the the adults out there that don't have a space. So yeah, I really like to figure out the people that we and uh, you know what? I am the advocate of me. Oh, oh my God, we need to make a job. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. I know that Whitney, um, you were you were very helpful when I was first getting uh, started with several palsy sunrise. You invited me on Able Thrive, and you kind of told me about then what was a new project called Spastic Chatter, and now yeah, it kind of like blew up. Yeah. <laughs> and now Spastic and I, Chatter is a whole new thing. Yeah, and I kind of have to, well, you, you, you are, you are crediting me, but I have to credit you, Jimmy, because I, yeah. I started, spastic, I started Spastic Chatter because I saw you doing these lives and stuff, 
<laughs> so like I have to cut you for that because you kind of inspired you kind of yeah. inspired me for doing that. So that's funny how that works. It is yeah. funny how that works. <laughs> and it's cool that we got together. And that's part of the reason why I enjoy doing collaborations with, with spastic chatter so much. So um, I would like to more and more make me freak out the world of the Yeah, more and more people will get the idea. Yeah. We welcome all channels and we encourage more of you out there who are going to be watching this to start your own channel. There's plenty of room yeah. for all of us. Right, Whitney? <laughs> yeah, we can, we can all post. We can all collaborate, do, do videos like this. We can do it. We can do it. We can, we have me. We have CP potlucks. We can have. We can have another one. Oh, CP go with the ah. Oh yeah. I want to. I see more and more. And more and more. That's right. CP gals out there now too. So everyone, Whitney and I will be providing links to Amanda's book and Amanda's page if you have more interest in her story. And uh, Whitney, I'm going to be uh, posting and, and tagging you and Spastic Chatter. So thanks for joining us today. And uh, do you have anything you'd like to say before we go, Whitney? Um, I just want to thank you. Again, I want to thank Amanda for agreeing to do this and agreeing to chat with us. And thank you. I hope, to, I hope to do it more in the future. Yeah, and me too. I encourage you. Yeah. Get you more photos. This is your first one for for yeah. now. Wow. Yeah, well, wow. I we should go so We don't know for. Yay! Yay! That's great. So we're honored that you decided to go Ooh. first with two other CP gals. That's awesome. <laughs> I want you. Oh, very cool. Well, ladies, have a wonderful weekend. I can't wait to share this with uh, both of our communities, Spastic Chatter and CP Sunrise. And hopefully, I'll see you both online again soon. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.